A pair of Western Buckeye League softball teams competing in regional tournaments this week and both impacted by last night's heavy rain. In Division Three, let's come back out for a second before we get to those highlights. Talk about Ottawa Glendorf, scheduled to take on defending state champions Bloom Carroll last night. That game rained out, moved to tomorrow night at Bell Fountain. Meanwhile, WBL champs Bath taking on Clyde in the D2 Bucyrus Regional. That rematch pushed back about an hour tonight as the other semifinal in Bucyrus, Keystone and Maumee, was postponed this afternoon with Maumee beating Keystone. So second time this season, the Wildkins and the Clyde Flyers have met with Bath winning the regular season contest. And as you saw, Kimmy Reynolds ready to take on the Flyers. She has not allowed a run in the postseason to this point. Top of the first, Wildkins' Jenna Holler leading things off with the slap single. Later in the inning, runners on a second and third. And Kimmy Reynolds at the plate. Laces a base hit, gets into the outfield. Holler's going to score from third. Alyssa Manley right behind her from second. It's 2-0 on the RBI double. Go to the bottom of the first. Clyde with a runner on first two outs. Tara Miracle blooper falls into right field, gets past the outfielder. Maddie Montgomery's going to score all the way from first as Clyde gets on the board, cutting the bath lead in half. Top of the second now, runner on for Ellie Dakin. Fly ball to right field's going to stay in the park. One hops off the fence for the double. However, the Wildkins would not get either runner in. Top of the third, one out, Julia Miller. Deep drive, and it just clears the fence off the top of the fence. It's 202 feet to that part of the park. She hit it exactly 202. Solo home run, 3-1 lead. Top of the fourth, now Cassie Best comes up with a leadoff single into left field. But once again, Bath unable to get the runner in. Fifth inning now, two outs. Miller ropes one down the left field line. Another extra base hit for the Bath catcher. But once again, Wildkins can't get her in. Bottom of the seventh, still a 3-1 game. And Kimmy Reynolds, the only 1-2-3 inning of the game for Bath was the seventh. Reynolds strikes out seven as the Wildkins beat Clyde 7-1 the final as Julia Miller comes up with the big hits. I did. I mean, I, I hit the ball, and I figured either I was getting out or I was going over, but, I mean, luckily hit the fence and went over. Yeah, Julia does a good job behind the plate. She mixes everything in. She does, uh, well, she's kind of out of her slump that she is in, and we're uh, glad to see that she's back. Leading up to this game, she viewed herself as in a slump, which I can't really agree with that. She had one uh, shaky game. Um, worked out of that well, though, and, and I'm glad to see she's back. Absolutely. I don't know if it was nerves or what, just kind of start the game there. Um, Clyde put some good swings on her and um, produced a run, but then she really bared down in those last six innings. And um, still, they allowed some runners in scoring position, but I thought she pitched a heck of a game. She, she was a little unsettled in the beginning, but she knew what she had to do throughout the game, and she really settled in and threw the ball well. I had trouble, but, you know, uh, Alyssa and Kara and the outfield and Ellie and Courtney were all making plays that they needed to to get the outs and help me out. I mean, I'm really impressed with my defense. They always come out ready, and today they were just all over the place helping us out any way they can. As we mentioned, Bath will take on Maumee, who beat LaGrange Keystone today 4-1, to a rematch of last year's district championship game. More on that tomorrow night on the Sports Report.